Van Gogh Sigma well, 300. Tent number one. Right, here we go. I wouldn't want to put this up in a high wind on my own, on dark wood, on a rainy day. It wouldn't work, would it? I think we're missing something here, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look, yeah. no, I'll tell you why. Well, because the bottom isn't going to the top. Yeah, look, Alan, Alan, come and have a look. I'll show you. Come on in. Right, come here, come and have a look. Right, now we've got these zips here, look. Yep. Right. Now zips. Do you know what the zips tell me? <laughs> it, it opens. Zips tell me that they need to be unzipped. You know. Right, we've got so these things look, here. See. Look, 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 we've got zips. Right. Yeah, but look, what? See. You can't see. find an end to the bloody zip. Oh, it's over here somewhere. Steve, no, there's a bit of seam come off here. Zip. You need to do a bit of um, re-gluing of. Uh, yeah, but look, look, zipper. Yeah. Right. Now, look, we've got a great big bag here. Look. A bag? Yeah. Sorry. This is the outer tent, right? Mm -hmm. right? Right, this is a practice run. Good job we did it, isn't it? And right. It's taken us both the best part of a fucking hour, and it's still a mess. You know, but anyway, we got we got zips and stuff, mm. right? We haven't even thought about that. We got instruction and everything, but you don't like instructions, well, do you? Well, you've stopping you, Ray, didn't you? Look, we got zips. Now, like I say, a zip tells me something. A zip needs <coughs> unzipping. No, but you should have it zipped up when you have put I told it in the you tent. About my fantasy girlfriend or what? Right, anyway, there we go, look. So we've got a bag here. So this thing needs to be zipped in properly and joined with the bottom part. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Hold that. Put me on the screen. Oh, oh right, okay. <coughs> right, so what are you going to do with it? We're going to attach that. Yeah. Sorry, hang on, I'm just getting me balance, all right? Have you got any okay. beer left, by the way? I'll go to the shop in a bit. I mean, have we got anything in the fridge? Yeah, they've yeah. got one more each. All right, do you want one? Yeah, so what are you doing? Yeah. Goes on a bit this video, but like it's probably the best one worth watching. You know, like if you want to know how not to do it, you know, we're the guys to teach you, aren't we? Hi. Sorry, I can't even hold a camera steady. There we go. Look, yeah, I've got the hang of it now. Oh, that's more like it. There we go. It's, it's getting warmer in there, though, isn't it? It's blooming hot, yeah. Sweet. Yeah, that's more like it. Now it looks like a proper tent, you know, rather than just a pile of old rubbish Whoa. on the floor. There we go. Look, I, look, I'm half in, half out. I'm, you know, I'm it's in right. Now. I can't get it. It's hot in there. Look, look, there you go. You've sussed it, mate. Look, I'm wobbling all over the place. So I'll give a close-up of your grey hair. Yeah, okay. There you go, look. And your Sweat right ear. What's left of it. Yeah. How long have you been Vincent Van Gogh, by the way? 
Look, we've got special windows. Look, uh, there's a little close up on the windows. There we go. Yeah, yeah. What are they called again? High visual or something. Oh, crystal clear. Crystal clear, that's the one, yeah. Crystal crystal clear windows no, we've got. Issue well, we've got a bit of an issue with the crystal clear windows because they're actually a little bit foggy and misted up, to be honest. You know, so I think we've been uh, sold a bit of a duff one there, haven't we? <laughs> Then you reckon? I don't know. I think it's been test pre-tested. No. Pre-loved. They haven't pre-loved it. No, they haven't. You know they haven't. You know, put it's not even... Put the look, spray mug. you, troublemaker. Spray they mug. haven't pre-loved it. They haven't pre-tested it. Nothing like that. I'm half in, half out. I mean, what am I supposed to do? <coughs> look, here we go. Look. Now that... Oh, you've sorted it out, have you? You can peg it back. Yeah, look. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> what are we going to do about this then? Oh, and we've going. even, we've even, <laughs> you'd be really interested in this, folks, but he sorted out the porch bit as well, didn't we? We did. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Where are we going yeah. now then? What's All the we had spot? to do was get this bit of elastic and stick it underneath, pull out a couple of pegs and stick it underneath. God, you're sweating, man. God, oh. was it that much hard work? Yeah. Yeah, but you did a beautiful job. <laughs> <laughs> You what did. do you think? What should we do now then, boss? We go and have a look at I the don't outside. Know. What are we going to do now? Yeah, oh, let's have a look at the outside. Come on. All that. Yeah, do you want? Do you want me to hold the door open for you? Yeah, yeah so you it. don't get caught up in the elastic uh, and that. We'll put these in and then we'll pull these. Uh, that that here underneath on your side, that's got a clip to the hole. Actually, it's got a clip to the loop. What the uh, outside loops or what? Uh, no, down there, down there, on that side, down there. Oh, that's got to go under there. Sorry, I thought you were talking about these. And we've still got spare ten pegs. <laughs> and we've got, look, i got three here, look. And we've still got our reserve. Whatever that's supposed to be for. No, it's quite a nice tent, actually. Quite handy with that. You can do a lot of them. Yeah. And you could get three guys in there, no trouble, if you had to. I mean, I, I think of it as a nice, comfy two-man tent, but you could certainly get three on a, on a cold, windy night, you know, wouldn't you? Yeah. No trouble, but, yeah. It's not the quickest tent to put up, but once you're used to it, I'm sure it could only take about 15 minutes, I reckon, between two. What do you reckon, Alan? Yeah, I reckon it's coming together. Now. Yeah. I mean, I know it's our first go, you know, without even reading the instructions. But I reckon that's not a bad attempt, you know, first, first shot. I've been doing the fair house. We need a bit more tightness here, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, we need a bit more tensioning, but like, apart from that, you know. That was the first look inside. No, but uh, yeah, we had to zip it in, didn't we? Yeah. There was definitely a, a bit of a fault there, you know, but uh, that's the way it works, isn't it? Right, here we go, first, first step inside. It's quite warm in here. But it is. <laughs> <laughs> but hi there. Look, bags of room, you know, compact and bijou, but room for three. Add a push. Need to stretch this out a little bit more like that. I reckon, yeah, stretch it out a little bit. Now we've got the uh, ground sheet combo uh, fly sheet sorted. You know, I think everything is better. And there is definitely room in here for three as a push. But with smelly dog and uh, sleeping bags and such like, you know, it's going to be uh, a little bit of a, one of them. You know? hmm. Yeah, like one of them. Anyway, you know what I mean. Yeah. Although it did take a bit longer to put up than I thought it would. I like this waterproof port area. Yeah, that's, cool. that's where you park your rucksacks and your stinky dog, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's one of those tents, you know, you, you're going to have to uh, park it somewhere <coughs> and come back to it at the end of the day, isn't it? Yeah, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah, it was hot as well, wasn't it? Oh, God, it's 
performing now, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want another beer? Yeah, but in the rucksack, too. Sorry? In the rucksack in the kitchen. Alright. Oh, There's two left in there. I'll get some more then. Need to stretch these out a bit, the uh, ground sheet, and make it flat. But that is a blooming nice size. We've got a loop at the top so you can hang something from. Maybe one of those uh, little lanterns. I'll show Steve one in a minute. So what other bits have you got? Have you got your cook set? Do what, sorry? Have you got your cook set? No, I haven't got anything like that. You know, I was going to go sort of like commando. Mm -hmm. No underwear. <laughs> yeah, travel light, you know what I mean? Like I do when I go to Berlin, see what's this guy. Mm. Well, I need a toothbrush. I, think we, did, I think we did rather a good job considering we took amateurs, we didn't know what we were doing, and we did read the instructions for anything. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I just didn't be doing it, but they put the instructions on the inside, so you have to get it out. Yeah, I know, so we have to get it out. It's bloody instructions, what are they like? Anyway, we got there in the end. This is phase two, is it? Yeah. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please, uh, we have multiple, multiple LEDs hanging off the middle of the tent. What more can I say? I think that does it all, doesn't it? A place of turn it off? Uh, yeah, a place of study, contemplation uh, place and illumination. Of study and contemplation and Illum illumination. Indeed. Uh, that's all you need, and uh, 
Should I park it on again? No, leave it on. You don't need it on, do you, at the moment? No, not Save really. the battery. No, save the battery. Well, we're just going to test a couple of um, bits here. Use for a right boot. Okay. Now, you're, you're worrying when you're out camping that you might spill your beer. So, take your boot off, stick your can in there, jobs are good and thank you. <laughs>